A month to the day after Hamas's attack on civilians in southern Israel, the Israel Defense Forces secured a humanitarian corridor in Gaza for Palestinian civilians to flee south. The IDF released video showing hundreds of civilians leaving Gaza City, while an Israeli Merkava tank provided security. Many of the civilians held up white flags to show they were non-combatants. Hamas claims the IDF made the civilians act this way in order to humiliate them. The humanitarian corridor remained open for four hours. It was long enough for able-bodied people to get out, and perhaps help some others, but Gaza's interior ministry says around 900,000 Palestinians are still in northern Gaza. Israel's defense forces say Hamas's primary base of operations is centered in Gaza City, specifically in the maze of underground tunnels. The IDF says Hamas hides entrances to what's been dubbed the Gaza Metro throughout the city, including under hospitals, mosques, schools, and other civilian locations. Hamas released video of its fighters firing mortars and rockets from within the tunnels and popping out of these subterranean strongholds to launch ambush attacks against Israeli soldiers. In the month since the war started, Israel's campaign of airstrikes on Hamas has been brutal and unrelenting. The IDF maintains it does not set out to target civilians, but because Hamas is operating from within the civilian population, civilian casualties are inevitable. Critics say Israel is committing war crimes in Gaza on a grand scale. The Hamas-run Ministry of Health says more than 10,000 Palestinians are dead as a result of Israeli airstrikes. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is rejecting calls for a ceasefire, saying that would only allow Hamas time to regroup and launch more attacks. However, the Prime Minister did say he was open to small windows when the fighting could pause, allowing aid into Gaza and more civilians out. In his first public comments about what Israel's plans are after the war, Netanyahu said Israel would need to reassert control over Gaza to maintain security. I think Israel will, for uh, an indefinite period, will have the overall uh, security responsibility because we've seen what happens when we don't have it. When we don't have that security responsibility, what we have is the eruption of uh, Hamas terror on a scale that we couldn't imagine. U.S. President Joe Biden said another Israeli occupation of Gaza would be a, quote, big mistake, saying America's closest ally in the Middle East should learn from the mistakes the U.S. made in Iraq and Afghanistan.